Welcome to the Cialytics Partner Spotlight. Um, this is where we give our member credit unions a closer look at some of our valuable partners. And uh, today, the spotlight is on Cinchi. And so I'm glad to uh, welcome Dan Demers, the CEO of Cinchi, here to join us and talk about his company and, and their offering. Thanks for joining us, Dan. I appreciate it. And uh, I wonder if you could start by telling us a little bit about Cinchi, the company. Sure. Uh, so first of all, thanks for having me. I'm excited to be here. Uh, so Cinchi is, uh, we're actually based out of Toronto. Uh, the name Cinchi is a play on the word cinch, which means simple. Uh, we're at uh, 53 employees uh, last time I checked and uh, planning to double in size over the next year. Uh, we're venture backed. Uh, we did our series A just over a year ago, and we're now thinking through the timing on our Series B. Uh, and over the three years that we've been in market, um, the thing that I'm most proud about the company is the fact that we don't have any churn. We've never lost a customer, and our customers often uh, expand. So we have customers uh, kind of all over the map in financial services, a lot of credit unions, but even, even big global banks uh, as well. Uh, and uh, what we're doing is we're introducing a, a whole new paradigm for data management that we call Dataware. Awesome. Awesome. So that's the offering we want to talk about today is Dataware. Yeah. Say that's very impressive that you haven't lost a customer. Um, <laughs> you know, that that's uh, something you're going to hang on to as long as you possibly can. Absolutely. For sure. Yeah. So, and the, the expansion as well tells us that uh, the product is adding uh, real value to, to the customers, which is which is important for us. Like I've been on the other side. Uh, I, my background is in financial services. I've been on the buying side. Uh, so I was used to a world where a lot of enterprise software is overhyped, it under delivers, uh, and we wanted to really use that as an opportunity to differentiate our offering. So we only buy it once you know what the value is. We prove it for you know exactly what you're getting into. We want to be kind of the anti-enterprise software sales <laughs> company, if that makes that's any a, sense. Yeah, that's a tagline. Uh, <laughs> so tell us about Dataware. Yeah, so Dataware is... Um, it's actually an idea that goes back to the mid 80s, uh, but uh, it's the, the concept of separating data from applications. So uh, today, every time you buy, build uh, an application, you have to integrate. Uh, mm -hmm. And it's because the data is managed by these individual applications. So uh, what our technology is, is it's a dataware platform that can run in an on-prem capacity. It can run in, in a cloud. It's totally up to you and you can change your mind over time. Uh, but it really facilitates the separation of the data from individual applications, because the truth is the future is one where the data doesn't belong to an individual application. It belongs to the organization. It mm -hmm. is its own asset. Uh, so really, it's an opportunity wherever you're, you're in need of buying, building, or integrating uh, uh, multiple applications. Uh, that's where Dataware can come in and help to save you time and save you money by accelerating that with the added benefit though of freeing the data such that it can now be used in an infinite number of future use cases without ever requiring integration again. So it's, it's an accelerator to IT change to deliver business capability that actually eliminates integration over time. So um, where we talk with a lot of partners about architecture and mm -hmm. integration, I guess you have a little bit of a different story there then. Yeah, it's essentially flipping the model on its head. So the traditional approach is you have an app for everything. And if you don't yet, you build an app for it. And, uh, yeah. uh, and then you do APIs and you do ETLs and you do reconciliations. And uh, for any um, changes that uh, you just don't have the time or money, you may actually revert to uh, Excel-based solutions or uh, using other desktop tools like Microsoft Access. Yeah, uh, whereas in it all. Yeah, or Dataware basically gives a, a unified platform to solve those such that it kind of operates conceptually like how your Wi-Fi network works in your home, uh, where mm -hmm. when you get a new device, you don't have to wire it to every other device in your home. You connect it to your network and that's it. It now works. It can collaborate with all the other devices. Uh, so every new device makes all the other devices more powerful. It's the same idea, but in this case, the device isn't, isn't your iPhone. It's an application. Uh, and uh, so it allows you to have this connected um, uh, experience on top of your data, even though behind the scenes, the data may be fragmented, but it gives you the ability to not only unify that to get a, a customer 360 or an employee 360 or, or a 360 anything, 
uh, but to be able to build on top of that connected view, instead of just using it for reports and analytics, you can actually create digital experiences. Mm -hmm. uh, so as an example, like one of our customers created a, a, a digital loans experience to provide access to other credit union uh, and under other credit unions and their members to get access to emergency uh, loans uh, shortly after COVID hit. Uh, and uh, they were able to go from an idea to live over the course of five days. Uh, so literally an idea on a Monday was live on the Friday for serving initially 10 credit unions today, there's close to hundred that are using that is it enables that level of agility uh, where you're using it again, wherever you would otherwise buy build or integrate a technology system. Yeah, which is the decision you need to really make about almost everything you do. Pretty um, much, yeah. Game changing. Um, can you tell us a little bit about the implementation model and uh, yeah. the, you know, the impact on a credit union of working with you to, to implement right. data? Yeah. Uh, well, the uh, question that we get asked often is how do you actually get started? Because you, like a credit union doesn't have nothing. They have their core system. They have uh, their, you know, often there'll be many Excel spreadsheets that are running the critical business processes. So there'll be an existing collection of applications that may have uh, deficiencies and gaps or things that they want to add to it or expand on. Uh, and uh, really what we do with Dataware is you don't replace the things that you already have. You use it to create the things that you don't yet have that you need to create one way or another, uh, whether mm -hmm. it's a new digital experience uh, to launch a new product for your members or, or something to help you with internal operational efficiency uh, or a new regulatory uh, rule that you need to comply with or mm -hmm. whatever it is ultimately that you need, you're applying it to that project where that project should be delivered for a lot less time, a lot less cost with a lot Lot less risk right out of the gate. Again, with the added benefit of every project pays it forward so that the next project doesn't even need to worry about the data because it's already there. It's already in the platform. Mm -hmm. uh, so that's the idea is you're, you're using it uh, to accelerate new projects. So there's not a heavy lift, right? You basically add it, it joins the team as a technology and, and basically takes work off of, off of your plate. Uh, and um, because of, of that, it's, it's incremental and gradual, but it gives you an immediate benefit. Uh, so there's no big bang, there's no massive transformation, there's no um, uh, need to set aside funding for Cinchi above and beyond the projects that you're going to deliver anyways. If anything, it should be a reduction to your budget as a result of introducing the technology, otherwise there's something is fundamentally wrong with how it's being, uh, being used. It should immediately save you time, it should immediately save you money, uh, and again, the more you use it, the more you save. And uh, we work with small credit unions and large credit unions, and there's different engagement models in some cases. Uh, larger organizations that have uh, larger IT capacities may do a lot of the heavy lifting themselves and, and in others, uh, they can engage us to do that for them. And, and the model that I, I personally prefer is where we do it together, uh, where we have some of our expert resources working with the resources of, uh, uh, of, the, of the customer. Uh, they know exactly what they want. Uh, we know how Dataware can, can help them. And, and that's, that's a great marriage is uh, that's where kind of the magic happens. But uh, even with smaller teams, what we find is that it enables uh, self-service uh, over time mm -hmm. because the whole the whole idea of uh, simplification essentially means simple. It's not that you're reliant upon a vendor to do every little change it is ultimately you get to the point where even with a small team, you're able to introduce change that is low risk, low cost, uh, and you can uh, adapt uh, technology around your business instead of having to adapt your business around your technology. Well, that sounds great. It sounds like you could get started very small and show some success and then yep. grow to different projects and yep. um, doesn't have any particular requirements from the organization, but you prefer to work in a joint model yep. to empower the organization. I mean, I think you talked about agility and you know certainly you'd want to kind of leave behind the organization in a more agile way so right uh, is that does that sum it up yep pretty much yeah well uh, that's awesome so uh, tell us a little bit about how you um license or what the business model is for sure. for dataware yeah, so people are so used to uh, modern software, especially SaaS, where it's essentially uh -huh. trapping your data behind a paywall, uh, where you're then providing uh, uh, money in exchange for access to your data. Uh, we're, we're not, uh, in, if anything, we kind of see ourselves as Robin Hood that allows you to steal your data back. Yeah, you, from, make it, you make it sound bad. very bad, SaaS. Uh, <laughs> uh, it, well, there, it's good in that you don't have to manage, manage the infrastructure and 
and you got all the pre-built experiences, but it's bad when you don't have control over your data. So uh, the way that we price it is it's a builder-based model. So there's a base fee for the platform. Uh, mm -hmm. And the only incremental fee is when you add individuals who have the ability to build solutions on the platform. So users are free, uh, usage is free, use cases are free, connectors are free, uh, there's unlimited data volumes, everything else so you should never have to uh, you should never be charged uh, to interact with your own data is very much our philosophy. Mm -hmm. uh, and uh, what's powerful about that is if I connect in data uh, that is inside of uh, whether it's a, a core platform or whether it's a SaaS application is that data is now synchronized and then made available for free. So I can reduce my licensing costs, retain control or regain control over my data. Uh, in addition to the fact that I'm now connecting it where I'm creating a unified experience across application silos that I can then build on top of. And I can build on top of as quickly as I could build with the spreadsheets uh, where I can actually originate new data. So you get this agility, but uh, so the, the model is, is really as simple as base fee uh, and then optionally adding builders over time. Okay, so you're able to scale as you discussed. So and yeah. even a little bit different licensing model than than a, a lot of software. That's yeah. pretty cool. So um, yeah. I've seen uh, what Cinchi did at the Solution Showcase, and uh, it was pretty impressive. Uh, I'll give you that as a lead in to talk about what differentiates Dataware from you know the competitors you see out there in the market. Yeah. Uh, and, and that's always a, a popular question, and it's a, a tricky one because uh, the world is filled with uh, vendors selling data and then insert buzzword here, uh, whether it's a data yeah. mart or a data warehouse or data virtualization or uh, data mesh or data fabric, like all these different terms. Uh, but what they all have in common is they all essentially provide symptomatic relief to the fact that the data is owned by individual applications. And mm -hmm. they essentially solve for the enablement of reporting and analytics, which is great, but it doesn't enable you to build new experiences faster. It doesn't save you time and money. It doesn't increase IT efficiency. It doesn't give you all these other added benefits. Uh, that is actually game changing in terms of enabling agility and efficiency. And that's where Dataware is different. So Dataware is actually solving the root issue, which is why is the individual apps in charge of their own data? Uh, and uh, that is very, very different than even at a conceptual level than uh, data insert buzzword here. Uh, so uh, like for us, for our business, now we're not... Um, uh, a financial institution, we're not a credit union, uh, but we have a lot of, you know, we need, we need to pay our employees, we need to uh, send customers invoices, we need to, uh, there's a whole bunch of uh, things that uh, we actually use Dataware for, uh, where we don't need to actually stand up bespoke applications, we don't have to do integration, and that's the exact same scenario that our customers, uh, including credit unions, would, would use it for, is to create business capabilities without all these silos. Awesome. Yeah, and I, I just... Uh... I think that you have a, a fundamentally different model up and down the line. So uh, it, very interesting. Um, I want to thank you for joining us today for this uh, partner spotlight, uh, Sinchi, and I think for um, our member credit unions, I think they're starting to become very familiar with Sinchi. And uh, I hope they take a good close look at Sinchi. Um, the, uh, uh, I will say that's it for the spotlight today. And if you want to see any other spotlights or anything data digital in the credit union space, go to clytics.com.